Hello everyone. So today we'll be taking Supta Virasana, also known as Reclining Hero Pose. The aim of this video is to help you to understand how you can reach step by step in Supta Virasana. So first step is Adho Mukhashwanasana to Urdhva Mukhashwanasana. This will be done dynamically. So you're going into Adho Mukhashwanasana. Make sure your fingers are open, toes are open. You're going for Urdhva Mukhashwanasana. Exhalation, go back to Adho Mukhashwanasana. Urdhva Mukhashwanasana. Adho Mukhashwanasana. Bended knees, heels up. I would suggest to go for this at least 15 times, three sets. This is good enough. Helps you to work on your back well as well as your thighs. Second step is Anjaneyasana. For that, you're taking your right leg forward in between of your palms, dropping the back knee on the ground. Make sure you're freeing your back toe. And you hold your waist. Very good. Make sure the knee and the heel, the front one, is aligned. And then you roll your shoulders, open up the chest and look straight forward. Then you extend your both arms up towards the ceiling. This asana is very effective for your thigh. In Suptavir asana, you must work on your thigh well. How much you're doing this? I would suggest 20 seconds is good enough three sets. Third step, lizard pose. For that, you're taking your right leg forward in between of your palms. Make sure your back knee is touching on the ground. Free your toe back. Look straight forward and up. The most important thing here is you have to push the thigh towards the floor. That much you're pushing that the root of the thigh gets a good stretch. From there, you are taking your forearm on the ground, the left one, holding the big toe of the right foot or you can hold the foot also. Now, extend the right arm back. You are bending your back leg and hold the foot properly. Make sure you are bringing that heel closer to the hip and look straight forward. How much you're going for? I would suggest stay at 30 seconds, three sets. So fourth step is Ushtrasana. For Ushtrasana, you are holding your waist, pushing the sacrum towards the front, rolling the shoulders. Make sure the chest is lifted. Make sure the thigh is going forward. And then from there, you are going to touch the block, hold the block and stay here. And then at very last, you're dropping the head down. How much you're going for? 20 seconds, three set would be good enough. So fifth step, the last step is Virasana. For that, first of all, you're standing on your knees. You are separating your legs apart. Make sure the legs are separated and they are moving out properly. The thighs are together, knees are together. From there, you start going down, taking your hip to the ground. And you're looking straight forward. Look, for some of the people, it's quite difficult to sit here like this. For those people, you are using a block exactly under the buttocks. And then you are looking straight forward, roll the shoulders, open up the chest. How much you are going for? You should stay here for at least two minutes, three sits. Final position is Supta Virasana. For that, you're sitting into Virasana. Take your palms back and start going slowly towards the backside and lie down. You are extending your arms back, straight arms towards the backside and stay. This is your Supta Virasana. I know there are many people, those who cannot do Supta Virasana easily. For them, 
you need a bolster or two pillows. Now, make sure when you're using a pillow or a bolster, it should be closer to your buttocks, but not touching. From there, you're taking your palms back on the bolster and then start going back, lying on the bolster. Make sure your arms are extending back, straight arms and stay there. Make sure you are practicing this. And yes, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Namaste.